So I'm about to start a metal lathe project uh, for, for a friend, a fellow woodworker who has a spindle shaper. It's not this same machine, but it's very similar to mine here. He, uh, he wants to have a shaper ring that goes into the cast iron top here, um, more precisely fitted to the size of the shaper cutter stacks that he'll be using on his machine. Uh, I think he's buying uh, quite a number of Rangate uh, shaper cutters that have diameters in the 160 to 165 millimeter diameter. Um, and the closest ring that comes standard on his machine leaves too big a gap between the shaper cutter uh, and uh, the support here for the material going across the cutter. So he had um, the manufacturer of the shaper, Felder in this case, send me um, one of the cast iron rings for his machine. And I'm going to um, modify this uh, to fit closer to his shaper cutters. So this is the ring that came from Felder and fits on his machine. Um, the inside diameter here uh, as delivered is 155 millimeters on the large diameter on this side and then measured on the back where there's a recess we've got 144 and a half so we've got let's see we're going to 170 we've got about 25 millimeters of material to remove on here including getting rid of this stepped face um, and then of course it needs to be chamfered and cleaned up and polished up and made nice so that you know cut your fingers on it anyway i thought i would document the process that i'll use on the lathe to actually <clears throat> open up this inside diameter to the target 170 millimeters okay so we've got this uh cast iron ring mounted up in the four jaw chuck on my lathe and i'm Got a couple of indicators set up here, one on the outside diameter and then one on the flat face here. Uh, and I think I've got this thing dialed in about as good as I'm going to get it. I'll set it spinning here and you can watch the needles. So this indicator here showing the flat face, it's moving maybe half a thousand. This one down here showing the outside diameter is moving about a thousandth to a thousandth and a half. The outside diameter here is clearly not precisely round, um, but I think we've got this uh, dialed in close enough for this operation. Uh, I got an update from my friend. He wants the hole in here 180 millimeters not the 170 that I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to set up some tools here and um, we'll see we'll see how that uh, 180 works out here. Okay, so one of the things that I want to do first is to get the digital readout calibrated. You can see it up here. Um, so I'm going to take a measurement, a gross measurement here on the inside diameter of that narrowest part there. There's a step here, so I'm looking at the smaller diameter there, and I'm getting uh, about 140, 144.8, it's probably 145. Uh, so I'll, I'm gonna put that into um, the diameter here uh, once I get the the um, boring bar in position, I'll come up and just touch that. Let's do that now.
here we go. I'm going to enter that value uh, of um, 145 into X here. So that's my calibration point initially. We're going to take some uh, additional measurements as we get close to it. I also got the proximity stop set up so that uh, I don't come crashing into the jaws of the chuck. So if you follow me here, I'll move the carriage forward and uh, you'll, you'll be able to see here as we're going forward down to zero which is uh, off the chuck jaw faces, and the lathe will cut out right, automatically right there. So uh, that way I can be sure that even if I get distracted, uh, coming, boring into towards the chuck, I'm not going to be in a position where I'm going to crash the boring bar into the chuck jaws. So at this point I'm going to set up the camera a little bit differently and you can watch the machining operation in a time lapse. Okay, well that was the last pass. Let's see how we did on diameter here. Well, I'm getting 180.02 millimeters. Uh, I'll take that. So now, as you can see, this is a messy job um, working with cast iron. Uh, this little uh, tiny chips everywhere, and they're very abrasive. So I don't want those getting into the ways of the machine. I'm going to stop now before I do some final operations here to clean this up with some emery cloth and break the edges and the like and get this um, get this lathe cleaned up a little bit um, before this gets everywhere. And I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, I uh, thought I'd mention the tooling here. This is a uh, three-quarter inch steel boring bar uh, with a CCMT uh, 32.2 uh, uh, insert in, in it for graded for work with cast iron um, and it, it's worked very well um, I've got this choked up to sort of eliminate any vibration let's see this one here is probably pretty good uh, that insert is graded for for steel, but it should work fine here. I've got it a little up off center for clearance purposes. Let's see if I can come all the way out. There we go. should be fine. I'm going to clean all this up with some emery paper and uh, I'll bring you back. So we're going to go after this with some maroon uh, Scotch-Brite. See if we can get it cleaned up. Zoom in here. I 
finish looks pretty good for cast iron. So I think we're going to call this complete. Get it out of there and take a look. So there we are. You can see the inside. Hundred and eighty millimeters. Job done.